guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i've got another super cute little gnome for you he's a little guy you could do him in different colors you could make a gingerbread man out of him he's super cute on the tree on packaging just about anywhere if you want to how to make this little guy stick around i'll show you how but make sure you make plenty because everybody will want one Okay, for this one, I've given you pattern in the description below. Just cut it out, and then you're going to cut out two of these on some fleece fabric. And I'm just using some regular um, anti-peel fleece, and I'm just going to go ahead and pin my pattern to my fabric and go ahead and cut it out. This is a real quick and easy one as well, and you could customize them so many different ways. Just make sure when you're cutting around the curved area, you get it pretty curved because you do want it to look really good once you get it glued together. And you can sew this pattern as well. And you're just going to go ahead and put facing sides together. And we're just going to start at the edge of the top and go all the way around. You want to leave the very tip top open because we are going to stuff it. Just spend some time making sure that when you go around the curved areas, you do get them pretty curved. And make sure you get enough glue on there to hold, but not too much because you don't want it oozing. Okay, then stop right before you get to that end of that peak. And then we're going to go ahead and turn it right side out. You want to let it dry really good before you do this part. But you want to just kind of take your time and get it right side out. And just pull each one of those little legs and arms out, probably individually because it's a little bit easier. And then I'm just going to use a craft stick to just go ahead and push all the um, openings out and get my curves right. Spend some time on this part. You want to make sure that you do have round edges. Next, so I'm just going to start adding some polyfill inside. And I'm going down into each one of the little um, the legs and then the arms individually just to get it as full as I can get it. And I'm putting quite a bit of stuffing in here. Next, for the peak of his hat, I'm taking a pipe cleaner, folding it in half, folding it in half again. And I'm just going to glue it inside the little point so that his hat will be um, stay up. It'll give it a lot of um, body right there. But you want to stay about a quarter of an inch away from the edge so that you can glue your top part over the top of that. And this is all going to be hidden by the hat anyway, so if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. It's not going to be seen anyways. Okay, next I'm taking a piece of fleece. It measures one inch by eight inch, and I'm going to go ahead and fold over the top edge and the bottom edge just as little bit as I can, probably about a quarter of an inch at the most. And then just kind of meet in the middle on the both of them and go all the way down. And we're going to use one of these for the legs and one of these for the arms. Okay, next I'm just going to cut that piece in half and I'm going to wrap one around one leg and one around the other and then meet in the middle in the back and then just glue that on. Coming probably about a half inch above the bottom of the foot area. And just get that glued in real good. And then go ahead and put a little bit of glue right between the center part and just push those together and then they will meet and it'll be one one solid piece and then do exactly the same thing on the opposite leg just make sure that they do match in the front make a piece exactly the same for the arms just cut that in half and then we're going to wrap it around the arms about a half an inch up on both sides as well and 
And then again, meet in the middle when you get done so it does look like it's one piece. And the arms ended up being a little bit shorter than the eight inch. And you just trim them. Next to trim them out, I'm just coming around with some um, blue and white baker's twine and I'm just going to tie a bow on each leg and on each arm. Just kind of get it centered in the middle of the white and then just go ahead and tie a bow. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue right up underneath that bow and I'm going to put a little bit of glue right underneath the back part too just to hold it in place. Okay, and then do exactly the same thing on the opposite leg, and then we're going to do the, exactly the same thing on the arms. We're going to take a piece of fabric that measures seven and a half long by eight inches wide. This is just some white fleece folded over, and we're going to come straight up the bottom all the way to the top, curving it as we go. Then we're going to go ahead and open it up, and we're going to glue the sides together. Okay, then we're going to cuff up the bottom edge of it one and a half inches. Just make sure you do get it straight and even all the way around. And then go ahead and glue that in. Okay, then go ahead and turn it right side out. And then we are going to cuff up the bottom edge three quarters of an inch. And then go ahead and glue that in as well. Next we're going to cut his beard. We're going to cut it at two inches by two inches. And then just go ahead and make a U shape around there. And then we're going to cut that out, cutting the backing of the fur only, just the liner part. And if you just kind of take your scissors and just kind of snip through it, it's a little bit easier. And then just go all the way around and we're going to clean the excess fur off. Okay, if you're enjoying the video, be sure and give me a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. Attach the beard, we're just going to come right up to the top edge and glue this on. Next, I'm just going to take some polyfill and I'm going to stuff the hat. And I'm going to get it pretty full because I do want it to be pretty fluffy. And then when you get ready to stick the top part of his head into the hat, just go ahead and lift the polyfill up in the back and slide it into the very back. And then I'm just going to turn it over to the back and I'm just going to glue the back end first. And then I'm going to start gluing around. Now don't glue the front yet because we're going to put the nose in. Go ahead and get around the sides. And then after we get the nose in, we'll glue the whole thing in. Next I'm going to attach the nose and it's just a 15 millimeter half bead. And I'm just going to um, glue it right to the beard, right up underneath the cuff of the hat. And then we're going to glue the hat down around the top part and onto the nose. Just go ahead and finish around the edges. 
So I'm going to take that same blue and white baker's twine and I'm just going to tie a bow right to the side of the brim of his hat. I'm just going to tie it in a knot and then I'm going to tie it in a bow. Okay, then I got these little snowflakes at um, Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to paint them with a paint that's very similar in color to his body. And I'm going to do two of these because I'm going to do two of these little guys. And then I'm going to come back with some white chalk paint with a chip brush. And I'm just going to kind of lightly distress these a little bit. Just kind of fluff over the top of them. I take the same baker's twine and I'm just going to take a needle and thread and tie it through the top part of that hat. Just pull it on through. And I'm going to use some pliers to help because it is pretty thick. And then I'm going to add some white beads to the top part of this to decorate it up. And I'm just using a upholstery um, needle to run these beads through. It just makes it a little bit easier. And I'm going to use four beads on here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the top part of the first bead or the last bead just to hold it in place. And then I'm just going to tie that off. And then I'm going to take one of the snowflakes and I'm just going to glue it right to his hat. This was pretty easy. Okay, I think these turned out so cute. These would be great on a tree. They'd be great on packaging. They'd be great even on a wreath. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And be sure and give me a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. Thank you so much.